Hello there. I had a friend of mine, an acquaintance that I work with, and we were having this conversation about my children who I'm sending to college. I'm sending one of my kids to a very good college and the other one to a junior college. A, 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 it's a public junior college. is a lot less expensive. And my friend tells me that these kids are going to be brainwashed in these colleges. That's what he says. The college, the higher education, just brainwashes people. And they don't have any... They, they learn all this liberal claptrap, and they become part of this intelligentsia of brainwashed people. It's something to that effect. And, and I asked the guy, what do you mean by brainwashing? And he says, you know, they want to uh, believe everything that these liberals tell them in the colleges, and then they can't think for themselves, and they do what the man says. Says so that's what education does. It teaches you to do what the man says, be an obedient servant to the man. And you now, now this particular person I'm talking to, he was a high school dropout, so that's been his attitude for a long time, obviously. But, but I understand this this type of popular belief nowadays that education in the United States of America today is a bad thing. It's being pushed by certain political people on the right. And and, and I'm suspicious of their mo of, of their motives. You know, they possibly because the people who have a lot of money who are the real right wingy people who own the corporations and so forth, they send their kids to these really good colleges. That if you go to Harvard and Princeton and Yale and University of Chicago and Stanford and these really prestigious schools, they will have millionaires' children there all over the place. But for some reason, if you listen to AM radio and you listen to these right-wingy guys all the time and these right-wingy girls, they're constantly putting down these institutions of higher learning. They're always saying that this is just educated idiots here. You know, this is the, they, they speak with contempt about the intelligentsia and the academia. And they say with a sarcastic sound in their voice, like these people that get all these education, they don't know anything. They, they, we know, you know, like my, my friend that I was talking to, he knows more than they do. And I, I kind of like argue with him about it, saying, how can you say that those people are brainwashed? You've never been there. For one thing, so you're speaking out of ignorance. You dropped out of high school, so you don't even know what they teach you in college. Do you think that learning all the sciences, you know, learning physics and mathematics and and logic and, and philosophy and English and all this stuff is somehow going to make your brain become brainwashed? You know, it actually, what it does is opens up your mind so that you can see a wider perspective of reality. You know, but for me to tell him that, you know, he think, you know, these people on the right, of course, are doing something that's probably smart as far as uh, politically as they're complimenting their audience, you know, saying, oh, yeah, drop out of high school. That's the way to go. They, there's an effort going on right now in the United States of America to destroy education for the underclasses. And but this is a this is a conspiracy, I, I guess, uh, that I believe in, because when all the right wingers tell you that they don't want they don't think we should be putting money into you know, was their answer a couple of years ago? They used to always say, don't throw money at that at the schools. You know, you spend all this money on these kids and they still come out stupid. That's what they say. Well, the truth of the matter is they need better education in America in order for us to fight the man. It's the, it's the other way around. As I explained to my friend, you know, it doesn't take a bit of effort to be stupid. It doesn't take a bit of effort to be uneducated. You start out uneducated. You know, you could put a dog and sit him in that desk, and he would be getting Fs 
and flunk out of school. He couldn't do the assignments, couldn't le learn to read and write. There's nothing really good about that. You know, anybody can do it. You know, the, or, or these, the, we talked about these kids in the special eds classes, you know, and they really don't, they don't learn anything. They, they, you try to teach them this, you try to teach them that, and they don't learn a thing. Because, the, you know, the matter of fact, they can't even figure out how to use the toilet. You know, they just, when they feel like going to the bathroom, they just poop their pants. And I, as I said to my friend, you know, those guys are really sticking it to the man, right? They don't even, they don't do what the man says, and they just poop their pants. And, you know, anybody can say that the other guy is stupid, but go on and experience their experience first. And, and this is what's happening in America today. They're they're attacking higher education, and they're attacking public education. I I, I looked it up online. I, I couldn't find hardly anything defending public education. It's all about you know homeschooling and these satellite schools that they're trying to push on the right right now, and and it's an effort to take away from the public education system in America, which has been around since about America began, you know, with Noel Webster and all that, they, they, they really pushed for everybody to be educated that even in the lowest classes. And now they're trying to take out of the public education system and, and it's divide and conquer. Now, one of the things that they say is that the teachers unions are destroying the American educational system by trying to dictate what the kids are going to learn. And of course, what they want to do is they want to take the money from the public education and hand it to these for-profit satellite schools, which don't have the same standards as public education. You don't have to have a degree to teach there in many cases. Or they want to do these online and homeschooling situations so that people can teach their own children at home what they want to teach them and then teach them math and so forth on, online. I feel that this is a effort to destroy the public education system in America, and they're attacking, of course, the higher institutions of learning as well. By, of course, they're going to try to uh, starve them out pretty soon by cutting all the school loans and the so forth out. This is the future, according to what they want, and and, and what I'm seeing, it's very unfortunate, is that. A whole generation of people are now beginning to believe, as knowledge, things that are ridiculous, such as, for example, a large number of people right now in America think that the apocalypse is right around the corner. There's people who believe that the second coming of Jesus is coming, or another one is we're going to have a race war very soon. There's going to be a nuclear war. We're going to get in. There's going to be anarchy. It's going to be the apocalypse. I've been hearing this a lot lately. This is like a very popular. If you listen to the these these advertisements, they have all the what they're doing is they're talking about uh, these freeze dried food now that they're selling for people so that they could store you could store ten years worth of food down in your basement when the apocalypse comes. I mean that's very popular now. And, and there, uh, what else? The, the amount of ammunition that's been selling in the United States over the last few years is at a record level. It's, there's been a, a, a bubble, a boom, in the amount of ammunition that people are buying up because they're waiting for this apocalypse, this war. And and then they're teaching people that, you know, there's there's uh, the alien beings from other planets that are invading the Earth. And there's it, it, people believe this stuff, it passes for knowledge, and they're destroying the American educational system at the same time. And I, I'm here, here's my conspiracy in a nutshell, that there are many people on the right who are hoping to divide society more severely into classes. And by discouraging education to the weak-minded people out there who think that there are educated idiots, and we got to take money out of the public schools. Well, what they're going to do is those are going to be, we're going to see a whole new class of people coming up who are going to be 
very uneducated and unable to earn a, a decent living. They're going to be cheap labor for one thing that these corporations can. It seems to be an effort in America to bring down the price of labor. That's what this whole free trade is about. We want to compete against the third world countries for our labor. And now they want to destroy the educational system even further. So I, I'm a little bit discouraged about all this right now. So um, what's going to happen in the future? What we need to do, if I'm on with solutions, is we need to put more resources into education.